Faculty Center for Teaching and Learning, à la carte. Thank you, class. That concludes our first session for the fall. Dr. Rothschild. Amani. Yes. Nice right. to meet you. This right here is a form just stating my accommodations, and it just needs to be signed and returned back to the Office of Accessibility. Thank you so much for sharing that. You're very welcome. I want to find out more. Hi, my name is Amani Riley. I'm currently a senior attending Mercy College, and I'm in the five-year education program. I've been in the honors program since I attended here in 2011. I've also maintained being on the dean's list, and I've won three scholarships. I'm also totally blind due to cancer of the retinas. By the age of three, I lost all my sight. Now, here at Mercy, one of the things that have aided me when I got to Mercy is the Office of Accessibilities. Hi, welcome to the Office of Accessibility. I'm Makita King. Hi, I'm Eileen Rothschild, professor in School of Education. Makita, I just got this form and I have a number of questions for you if you have the time. Tell me how students register with Access. Sure. So the first step is that a student must self-disclose a disability. We can't ask them um, if they have any disabilities. Once a student self-discloses, we will actually get documentation from them of the disability. We'll have them complete an application for accommodations, and then we will set up a follow-up meeting to discuss the approved accommodations and the procedures to get them each term. Can you tell me what types of services or accommodations students can receive from your office? Sure. So we offer a wide range of services, but it really depends on the specific student, that disability, and the challenges that it presents. Some of our most common accommodations that we give out are extra time on examinations in a separate location, a scribe for exams or a reader, and um, American Sign Language interpreters. Those are kind of the most commonly used accommodations. As a professor, how would I know if a student is eligible for services? It's a good question. So once a student registers with ACCESS, they're actually going to be given an accommodation memo. That memo introduces the student and lists their approved accommodations, and they will get a new one each semester. In the first two weeks of the term, they'll bring you that memo to review and sign, and then they'll bring it back to the office. If a faculty member wanted to find out more information about the services, how would they do that? Well, we encourage faculty members to stop into the office. We're in room 108 of Main Hall. Um, they could also email or give us a call. We also have a faculty welcome packet that's available so that you can have this information all the time. Mm -hmm.